right, I am about to do my skincare. Good morning, it's Sunday. It's not good morning anymore, but I did wake up in the morning. <laughs> um, I woke up at like 10.30 and I had to do some real quick work. Just real quick. Um, that's what I told myself and then I worked for like two hours, but I got a lot of shit done So I'm feeling pretty good. I think tomorrow is gonna be like less workload uh, because of that and I was able to work pretty quickly I don't know if it's because I like woke up Like early and like that usually puts me in a more productive mood than if I wake up at like 2 p.m And uh, also Lewis wasn't awake when Lewis is in the office with me. I get a lot more distracted Anyways, um, it's time for me to relax for the rest of my Sunday. This is probably the farthest that I've gotten um, since I've been trying to start vlogging again for like a year probably or like six months. So it's pretty fucking cool. I guess I can like take you guys along through my skincare journey. So first, um, this is like my morning or like wake up routine. So I spray my face with Coco Kind Rose Water Toner. And then depending on how my acne is, I'll use the Cococine Turmeric Tonic Leave-On Spot Treatment. This helps me a lot with my pimples and redness. So I'll just put them, I'll just put it on like areas that are really broken out. And it helps so much with inflammation. The tip feels really good because it's metal, so it's like cold and uh, it's so easy to use. My god, I just love it. Oh, and in case you're wondering, they use like an antimicrobial uh, metal. So like it doesn't matter that you're like rubbing it on your face and then, you know, putting it away and then using it again. So then at this point, I go to the kitchen, which is like super inconvenient but I really like keeping this product in the kitchen. Um, I'll go to the kitchen for my, the Ordinary's caffeine solution with 5% five, <coughs> 5 plus EGCG. I don't know what the EGCG G is, I don't remember, but, and then I just put this around my eyes. It's meant to be only used around your eyes. I've heard, I've seen people who use it um, all over their face and get good results, but I'm currently only testing it on my eyes. Hold on. So I get a super small amount see that tiny drop a little goes a long way and then put a little bit down there a little bit around here my eye circles look so dark here in this lighting like and we'll do the other one and then so then i go back to the bathroom and by this time but i like at this point my turmeric spot treatment is mostly dry some areas I put a little bit more so it takes a little bit longer to dry. I just go like this sometimes. <laughs> and then um, I use the Coco Kine, yes, I'm obsessed with Coco Kine, uh, the Coco Kine Texture Smoothing Cream with Celery Seed Super Seed Complex. This moisturizer is so great. It comes with a little scoop and I just take a little bit. And then. The final step is SPF, daily SPF from Coco Kind. And we're done. This is how my skin looks when we're done. I don't know if you really, I mean, to me, it looks way better than at the start of the video. I feel like it looks healthier and fresher. But yeah, I'm obsessed with Coco Kind. Um, I think I'm definitely gonna make like a skincare routine video um, just because I've really found a lot of things that work for me. The majority of it's gonna be Coco Kind, but um, <laughs> actually it might all be Coco Kind. <gasps> they're just so good. Go check them out. They're affordable, they're clean, they're natural, they're eco-friendly. Hey. Hi. You wanna tell everybody what you did? Before we even woke up, you're gonna tell everybody? Let's show them. Oh, dad picked it up. What are you doing? She's still kind of getting used to us. Uh, we've only had her really for like a month. So she's still getting used to us. She's a little freaked out still sometimes, but she's getting there. She's learning that we're just gonna give her love all the time. 
But yeah, do you guys see the headboard? We had to saran wrap it because in the middle of the night, this little crazy girl likes to run all the way from the end of the bed. She jumps like from the edge or from the floor and she runs all the way and she jumps onto the headboard and she like runs us over in the process. It's like really fucking intense, especially at like three in the morning or actually she gets really hyper like six and like six and on you know so like it's really intense when you wake up at like six in the morning with a cat running over your face her claws like ugh. so yeah the saran wrap has helped but last night like it's helped in the past like week and last night she did it for the first time in a while and she did it a couple times and i was like bro what else do i need to do because i read that you're supposed to use like the environment to like train them so like if you put a material they don't like on something that you don't want them to be on then they won't be on it basically let me say hi to everybody oh who's that <laughs> you were wild last night dude see what i told her she was like a thousand miles an hour mm. across the room Jumping off the window. Yeah, dude. She knocked over my lamp. She's a she's a handful, but she's also a kitten, you know? She's like four months. Yo. Why did Nugget do that? She legit took her paw, shoveled the dry food out, and put it in there. And then she tried to eat it. Like like, I don't understand. You All right, so I just got back from doing groceries. Um, I don't think I mentioned that I had to do that, but I had to do that. And I wanted to show you guys, like, a gist of what I got. Just because I don't think you care, necessarily. Hold on, there's something in my eye. Well, I'm going to show you. A bunch of veggies. So, broccoli, carrots, coleslaw, green beans, bell peppers, bean sprouts. We like to eat a lot of Asian-inspired stuff. So, like, the bean sprouts and the broccoli and the carrots are, like, and the cabbage are essential in that and then uh chobani oat milk extra creamy is where it's at but any of the chobani oat milks are bomb and i've tried a lot of them we've got don't mind this lewis is cooking um but we've got milano milk chocolate i personally prefer the dark chocolate most importantly the double dark chocolate but lewis likes these and they didn't have dark chocolate so these are bogo and so lewis gets two bags of milk chocolate milanos American cheese, dairy-free cream cheese, regular cream cheese. Tillamook is so fucking good. This is avocado salsa. And then I got these Eggo French toast that I think are new. So I'm very excited because I love French toast. They're probably not going to be like bomb, but you know, whatever. I got some rice noodles because we recently tried these and they were so fucking good. And croissants they were buy one get one and then this is i'm super excited about okay i um and like on a mostly i don't think i don't even think i talked right in that sentence i am on a mostly dairy-free diet and so delicious came out with yogurt with like a uh, topping and I'm so happy because there's no, that I know of, that's available to me in my area, there's no uh, dairy-free yogurt that comes with toppings. I'm so happy. I really love eating yogurt with toppings. It's like my favorite way to eat yogurt. We got some beef and bacon, eggs, bacon, breakfast sausage, salami, turkey so we can make sandwiches, and then, um, like I said, eggs. I highly recommend this brand um, for eggs because they're actually free range. Um, there's a website that you can go and you can check like the brands out of the brands that say that they're free range um, and pasture raised and all that. You can see like how many of them are actually like good about it and not like bullshitting you. So that's one of the brands and they're relatively inexpensive in the world of like pasture raised. I think it's like uh, $4.99 or $5.99 for 12 which is... I get it, like double the price of like regular eggs, but more ethical. So if you can, you should. We also got red wine vinegar and turaco with my, my boyfriend is currently eating. Yes, bro. 
Oh my god. Put that chimichurri on that. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so it's good. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> he cooks the best and barbecue's like our favorite. And then we also got brown sugar. Grocery haul. I've I've done a lot of hauls in this vlog because I have so much stuff. But okay, I have to put all this shit away. So all right, let me show you guys our final product for dinner. My churrasco and this is my plate of veggies. So we made green beans, asparagus, and mushrooms. I could just have a plate of vegetables and be really, really happy, but I really like churrasco. Like I don't like a lot of meats. And I'm really picky about the way that I eat the ones that I like. Churrasco is one of them that like 9 times out of 10, I will tear that shit up. But uh, we're waiting for... Oh! Waiting for the sausages that are walking towards my way. We got three sausages walking towards your way. Look at him. How many sausages are on that plate? There's three in this room. <laughs> Nugget! What are you? What? <laughs> I feel like. Why are you posing? So fancy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Well, guys, I think it's that time to end the vlog. I am very much surprised that I made it through the entire weekend i'm almost there i just need to get through the editing part and the actual uploading part so i guess to end the vlog i kind of just wanted to like explain part of like my hesitancy i guess like because we're at the end now it doesn't really matter if i'm like talking a lot because i feel like i shouldn't talk a lot at the beginning because then people don't want to watch the rest of the video but we're at the end so i have like a lot of feelings and like reasons for why i've been so hesitant for so long and i think like one main reason is that i feel like my old subscribers are gonna be expecting the old version of me and i feel like i have very much fucking changed <laughs> in the past uh i don't know three to four years and that's like expected right you know you just fucking change as time goes on and i've grown up basically is what caused the change a lot and so i'm like oh are people expecting like the same like fun bubbly worry-free responsibility less uh christine but i feel like you guys probably grew up too <laughs> You know, like, whoever was watching me grew up too, but I don't know, like, fuck it, you know? Like, I am who I am, and whoever was watching me before is probably not gonna watch me now. And if they do, you know, they obviously have the option to unsubscribe if they don't want to watch the content. And, and I feel like the same way it's a reason I don't, like, I'm hesitant about doing YouTube again is the same reason that I want to do YouTube again. It's because I've changed so much that I feel like I have so much more to offer now. I've experienced more things and I've developed, like, stronger opinions about things and I've learned more um, about so many subjects. And I feel like I can offer a valuable perspective. And, like, there's something that I saw the other day that really resonated with me and it's kind of like something that i've thought about for a while uh like years is the idea that like your individual perspective is so important because nobody has that same perspective you feel me like you could you could relate to somebody and like share similarities in your characteristics and stuff but nobody has the exact same perspective because nobody has the exact same experiences i feel like that shapes a lot of who you are and so i feel like it's important for me to get my voice out there again and i'm also doing some other projects on the side that i will hopefully share with you guys once i get that shit done so if you watch this vlog and you stuck with me like all the way through the end like thank you so much that's really fucking cool clearly something about this was entertaining for you and so i can definitely reassure you that it'll continue being this way it sucks because i feel like because we're in a pandemic and i'm not one of those people that's like going out and about and acting like if life is completely normal my vlogs are not going to be super entertaining maybe i will spruce up the editing once i get back into this you know kind of like get the hang of it again but 
as for right now, my vlogs are going to be very down to earth, very fucking normal, average, regular. And I'm okay with that. If you give a shit, you'll watch. If not, you know, maybe I'll stop vlogging. But And there's a bunch of other things that are like holding me back from continuing to vlog you know like i wonder if like vlogging is still a thing anymore do people still vlog kind of like this raw way or like is it very is it very like curated or um is it more like down to earth now is it the same that it was before where there's just like a huge mix is youtube even still like a really good platform it was going to shit when i started like stopping youtube i don't really know but I'm gonna do this for fun because I feel like looking back at my old vlogs, it they almost feel like home movies to me. And that's definitely something that I want to have. I want to be able to show my kids and my grandkids. Um, so I'm going to make myself a tea. But I think that's the end of the vlog, bro. Because it's like 11 o'clock and I'm done. And I'll probably upload the vlog sometime during the week. <laughs> Hopefully not later than Wednesday. If you watched the whole way, like I said, thanks for sticking through with me. I can't promise you that I'm going to do another one. I can't tell you how long I'm going to be doing this for. I just know we're going in for a ride. And we'll see how, how long or how short it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you fucking feel like it or not. Don't commit. I'm not committing. You don't have to commit. Let's just leave this as, as it is. And uh, I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye.